Hello guys, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak a little bit about a problem. Martens, welcome to this new video. So guys, um, recently I had a little bit of a, a problem. I uh, drove the kids to school and when I came back home I smelled like a burning smell in the cabin. Quite uh, alarming. So I searched a little bit around but didn't find anything uh, burning or uh, suspicious. So when I get out of the car I uh, smelled this burning smell again coming uh, from under the bonnet. And when I opened the bonnet this is what I discovered. So as you can see it is a, a dead pigeon or what is left of it. It was took there by a, a Martens. You can clearly see the hairs on the battery cover. Well, with the previous car I saw on the isolation of the bonnet itself that there were some bitings and some marks but I never really stood still by what could have caused it, that problem. But um, now I know that uh, it were Martens as well. So the problem with Martens is they really like the um, temperature in the car. It's quite warm and cozy. They uh, live in holes normally. So the motor compartment does provide this kind of shelter. And they can quite easily enter. You can see down here, down there is the are the wheels so they can easily enter in the motor and um, well the main issue is that they can bite into all the hoses and cabling in uh, the best case it is only a little bit of biting damage but they can uh, create a lot more damages they can uh, do harm to the brake cablings and even cause um, court circuits and engine fires. So I'm going to do something about this problem. I bought this little device online for a little bit over 20 euros and it um, makes a um, high uh, ultrasonic noise which um, isn't liked by Martins. So before doing so um, I will clean them the engine because Martins do leave um, an odor marking so I will clean these hairs off I will clean a little bit the hoses so the reason why they bite in all those cablings is because the cable and hoses uh, are um, made with an isolation of fish oil and it appears that this is the a reason why they like to bite in all those cables so I'm going to clean the motor thoroughly to remove the odor of the Martins and I will also uh, spray some little bleach water on the spot where I usually park so even there the um, odor will disappear so that part is dealt with with bleach water now I'm going to clean the motor compartment itself so of course when cleaning a motor uh, always be careful not to touch electric parts or the dynamo or alternator um, those are sensitive but anyways it isn't a uh, brand new motor so it isn't uh, dirty at all so I will just uh, clean the parts and I'm sure there was some contact and uh, that will do so I cleaned the motor as I could um, in the meantime it was also a visual inspection and I didn't see any cables uh, damaged by bitings. I, uh, as you can see, threatened the, uh, this part quite thoroughly uh, because uh, this is where he uh, apparently settled on. This part was uh, fold like this. Uh, I used a um, disinfection product that is used by uh, veterinaries as well and also sprayed a little bit over there because I'm sure that uh, he, must, he must have touched uh, that part as well. So it will dry off 
Um, and now I'm going to search for a part to install my little box. So there it is. The little box with um, enough place to put um, tire wraps around and a little fuse holder. So the idea is to uh, wire this to permanently current source. I already have one in, uh, in mind. But before opening everything up, I first want to search for a nice place. The idea is to place it somewhere that it isn't in, um, obstructed by any objects. And of course near a place where the Martins probably would be. Uh, but you don't want it to be uh, obstructing some movement, moving parts or hot objects. So I will look around a little bit and then I will uh, go on to the further cabling. So I've searched a little bit around and the most ideal place seems to be right over there because it goes over all the motor block without any obstructions. Uh, I also already saw it being installed by Nissan itself by the way right onto the filter housing but it not only uh, is blocked right here and only oversees the, the battery but they um, fix it with screws right in the filter house so not quite not so beautiful solution I used um, as I use more often my uh, universal black uh, mounting silicon and uh, I sticked it just on there and it will hold without any problems so a little bit let it dry a little bit from there i will guide the gable all the way around here underneath to join up here i already removed the plugs and the screw there we go so in this little beauty we have some fuses and uh, there's a fuse as well that we can easily Step off. So I've taken off the air filter. I had to take off this part of the air filter house as well in order to lift this a little bit. And then you can release this little cover. And there you have a little fuse box. And this one I will test right now, the second. And it is supposed to be the fuse for the tow hook. I don't have a tow hook, so I can easily tap it off with a little piggy bag that I prepared here. So as in all my videos, I like to show exactly what I'm doing so that you uh, not simply copy, but you uh, know what you're doing as well. So I set my multimeter into the right position and I will test if I get any current. So there you go. and. Voila, it is a permanent continuous fuse, so we can tap it off. I will do a second test now in order to see what side of the fuse is wired. Is the left side or the right side? So it is that side. The correct way to place my picky bag is this way. So I prepared this little cable hose with a cabling inside that will go all the way around. So no loose wires. I will wire it up this cut this side and I will wire it up that side as well. The box is wired. You can see the little LED light blinking. I don't hear anything, uh, but the sound should really annoy Martins. So you can see the little cabling going in there with the fuse. It goes with the cable hose all the way over here. There, it's, there it stops. This bit I will of course work uh, away neatly from underneath here. But from here there is a ground going over there. And the live one is going to the fuse. So this way I don't have to tap in directly in the battery. Of course, Qashqai owners, you will ask yourself, but doesn't this uh, do damage to the battery having a device running all the time? Well, it is really, really um, weak consumption compared to the little uh, um, clock inside the cabin. 
so uh, it won't do any harm to your vehicle even if you don't uh, drive a lot like me so that doesn't look too bad if um, I may say so so of course there are some um, products and tips going around on the internet you could use an anti martin spray uh, but of course that doesn't work uh, forever uh, and for your health it isn't uh, that good uh, neither people say you could also use those little blue toilet blocks uh, the smell would scare away martens well there again it appears that the martens get used to it and uh, the odors that are in your motor also can uh, go inside of the cabin and do you really want to um, brief all those products um, for your own health so we will see what this um, little box will do hidden under here it doesn't do any harm um, some people say that the martens will get used to it as well but um, uh, at least I have tried and um, I will follow up the damage from time to time I can now quickly see if there isn't hair on here if there aren't bite marks well then uh, my little trick did work so I hope you like this video and see you in the next one bye bye